What is the iOS 17 bringing on board this time around? You're curious, right? Of course! So are we! Why don't you join us in the video as we unravel all the hidden iOS 17 features you will need to get the best out of your Apple devices without wasting much time. Let's get started. Lock screen. With iOS 16, users could create multiple customized lock screens and easily switch between them. There were multi-layered effects for wallpapers so that the subject could be set in front of the date and time as well as new gallery display suggestions such as emojis and backdrops to create your customized lock screens. Although you can set a subject in front of the time and date, it wouldn't work if you have widget under the clock and a larger picture will block the time and date. With the new iOS 17, you have the chance to change the font size. In this way, you can change the fonts of the date so that your picture can fit perfectly without blocking any views. You now have options to share custom lock screens with other iPhone users. Isn't that great? What do you think the next feature will be? <laughs> tell us, tell us. Live activities. And now live activities is a new feature on the iPhone that allows you to track things that are happening in real time. Sports, food deliveries, or workout sessions. The activity will be visible on your lock screen as long as you want as a reminder, especially when ordering food. It would help if you kept tabs on the courier so your meal arrives early without any delays. While using Apple Maps on the iOS 16 interface, you couldn't get access to other lock screen features like the camera and flashlight buttons because the map will take over your entire screen. iOS 17 rumors indicate that it will come with live activities feature updates such that Apple Maps can now take over a portion of your iPhone screen. Cool. That's cool. And give you detailed turn-by-turn -turn directions to your destination while the app notifications and camera buttons stay in place. According to the Twitter account Analyst941, this will change in iOS 17, with Maps directions including live visual map data taking over a portion of the lock screen. But with app notifications and the camera and flashlight buttons remaining at the base of the display note, this information is from an article by McCroomers since Analyst941 has deleted his Twitter account due to some issues. The Health app has something up its sleeve, and we will get to know soon enough. Health app. The Health app features of the iOS 16 were beneficial. Users could manage their medication intake, set reminders for taking medicine, and even interactive charts to help you better understand what the drug is doing to your body. Please subscribe to the channel for more trending updates on your favorite software. This health app was limited to only iPhone users. Those using iPads couldn't benefit from this feature, and the app couldn't keep track of your mood and how best to help the user overcome that mood. The good news is that Apple is expanding the health app to its iPads so that iPad users can benefit as well. Good. What? That's good. The Health app will now be able to keep tabs on your mood by answering questions about your day, and then it will assess your answers and give you reviews on what might be the cause. Awesome, right? Apple never ceases to amaze us. This next feature is new. Dynamic Island. The pill-shaped cutout on top of the screen, known as the Dynamic Island, shows notifications and apps running in the background. The iOS 16 interface had the on-screen Siri interface, performing many valuable functions. For one, Siri could hang up calls for you, add emojis to messages, send messages automatically, and even process commands when offline. The on-screen Siri interface pop-ups were sometimes, especially when it was a mistake. The dynamic island design looked out of place because it did what the notification center did. I, for one, didn't see its use. But finally, the dynamic island might be beneficial because leaks have it that Apple is planning to integrate Siri into the dynamic islands so it doesn't obstruct your screen time anytime Siri is activated. Let's hope so. The next feature is something no one ever imagined Apple would bring on board, but let's see if you are going to like it. Journaling app. Quick notes from the iOS 16 were handy. You can organize your schedules, take important notes, and set reminders. You can keep your notes safe by protecting them with a password. Notes are arranged chronologically so that it is easy to find what you are looking for. What this note app failed to do was help improve our mental well-being and even predict our mood even after recording your daily log. 
the iOS 17 is speculated to come with a journaling app that Apple aims to help keep our mental well-being in check. This app will keep logs of our daily activities, ask questions about our everyday experiences, and then give feedback on our mood. Apple Incorporated is planning an iPhone app to let users compile their daily activities as part of its efforts in the market for mental and physical health technology. According to documents viewed by the Wall Street Journal, there might be tons of journaling apps out there, but Apple's journaling app will be quite the thing, and we can't wait. So what do you think of this journaling app? A step in the right direction or not? Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Now let's see what devices will be supported by iOS 17. iOS 17 Supported Devices The iOS 16 was compatible with a lot of devices. Some of these devices include iPhone 8, iPhone XR, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 13 Pro Max, and iPhone SE 2022. To mention a few, iPhone 6 and 7 lineup aren't compatible with the iOS 16. Even if it manages to update, you wouldn't be able to access all the features it offers, such as the live texts and visual lookup. The iOS 17 is rumored to be supportive of Apple devices, such as the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus, iPhone X, etc., while the iPad OS 17 is also speculated to run on iPad Pro 2017 and later, iPad Air 3rd generation and later, iPad 6th generation and later, and iPad Mini 5th generation and later. What are your expectations of the iOS 17 features? Check out our next video to find out what the fans expect from the iOS 17. And thank you for watching this video to the end. Catch you on the next one. If you liked it, please don't forget to subscribe below.